All right, guys. So uh, Kevin here again. Been a while since I've done a uh, Tesla video, um, but I've been absolutely loving the car. Have uh, almost 12,000 miles on it. Been absolutely uh, amazing. No issues uh, to, to speak of. Um, you know, but up here in New England, it is almost snow time, sadly. And, uh, you know, I was needing to get a set of winter tires, and I thought I would try the new set that Tesla released themselves on the Tesla shop. It is the 19-inch performance uh, snow tire set made for this car with this fitment. It's a staggered 19-inch uh, setup. I think it's uh, 235 in the front, the 265s in the back um, on the Pirelli P0 Winters. Um, it's a performance snow tire, so it's going to handle in the dry a little bit better than a regular snow tire, but um, it won't be quite as good in deep snow or really snowy conditions as a regular Ultimate snow tire. Um, so I had an 11 o'clock appointment, I'm actually at the Tesla Service Center now. As some may know, it's a little bit strange, um, when you buy the wheels and tires on the Tesla shop, they will not send them to your house. You can only pick them up at a Tesla service center. So I had to drive over an hour to my uh, closest service center. And uh, unfortunately, even though I told them um, a few times that I was just picking them up, I'm just gonna put them in the trunk here. Um, I actually don't want them mounted to the car, just you know, mount and balance the tires, but don't mount them on the car. Um, I was hoping they would have already been mounted by the time I got here. Um, but that's not the case. I've been here over an hour. They're not done yet. I understand though it, it you know, they're busy here and that happens um, I just wish I didn't you know rush here for this morning just to wait um, They said it should be done by about 2 p.m. Hopefully I'll get them a little bit sooner uh, They were really nice in the chat and responsive. So I appreciate that um, But I'll go ahead. I'll get home. I want to mount them up I really want to check the fitment and just see what they overall look like I know there's a lot of guys out there deciding on what set to get um, and there's not many of these out there yet. So I am really excited. As soon as I get them, I'll uh, post up. All right, so a uh, Tesla service rep actually just came out like two minutes after shooting that video. Guy was exceptional, really great, knowledgeable. Uh, he, he's got the tires done inside. He's gonna wheel them out to me. Um, did not take till 2 p.m., so that, that's really nice. Uh, he's gonna make sure he labels which one takes the most weight. Um, you know, the one that takes more weight, you wanna put further away from you in the back. Um, you know, of course, left or right, they are staggered, so you can't switch front and back. Uh, but I should be out of here pretty soon. I'll go get them uh, mounted when I get home, or uh, I'll just mount them for fitment. I'll probably take them off because it's like 80 degrees today, so I don't really want to have the snow tires on just yet. Could be another two, three weeks. Um, so like I said, I'll go ahead, get the wheels and tires, and we'll be on my way home. All right, guys, finally back from a uh, Tesla dealership. I actually had a pretty busy day, so I didn't get to it. But here are the... Um, the performance snows. These are the um, these are the fronts. They are a 235 40 19, and of course the rears. The, again, this is a staggered setup. It is the uh, P0 Winter. The rears are a 265 35 19. So 235s, 265s. I did weigh them on my bathroom scale. The wheel and tire for the rear is 53.9 pounds. For the front, we are at 51 pounds. Um, this is a pretty new tire for Tesla. Um, it is the T0, so this is the Tesla version of the tire. They might change the compound or uh, the sidewall, little things like that to um, help out. So I, I already got the car on, uh, on my jack. I'm gonna go ahead and put these on real quick and I'll be right back. I can't wait to see um, how it looks. I think with the color, and the wheel design, I think it's really going to look actually quite nice. Went ahead, loosened the lug nuts. I uh, did take these off. Of course, these are always a pain. They're pretty tight on mine. Uh, I will say, I did just realize these new winter tires and wheels do not come with center caps. And our cars do not have center caps under here. So I will need to get some center caps for sure. Well, don't drop your nuts.
It is worth noting that I just weighed the uh, summer wheels and tires that came off of it, and it was uh, 46 pounds. So we're about five pounds heavier for the um, for the winter wheels, which is okay. You know, they're not forged, uh, but they should be pretty strong. That's the important stuff. Okay, put these on. Right, snug them down. Got ahead, got both mounted now. I actually think with the red and the red caliper that the uh, dark gray looks really nice. I think the fitment is really nice, not too sunk in. Got the rears mounted up here as well. I think it looks, I think it looks pretty nice. Um, I'm, I'm definitely happy with how it looks. Um, it's worth noting, these are my factory tires, wheels and tires. Um, these are a little bit lighter. Again, I have 11,000 miles, these are the rears. And uh, let me see how much, yeah, we got about five, 30 seconds left. But again, you know, I drive kind of hard, you know, so, you know, if you get 15,000 miles, 17,000 miles out of a set of summer tires, you're doing pretty good. Um, so we'll go ahead. I'm going to torque these down. Like I said, I am going to need center caps and hopefully they sell a center cap that's going to match the color. I just didn't consider that when I bought these that they weren't going to come with caps. So um, I'll work on the caps. And uh, I'm uh, taking my wife out. It's actually our third anniversary, so we're gonna go out for a nice dinner tonight. Gonna kind of see how these he's, how these tires drive. My guess is they're gonna drive really nice. I'm assuming Tesla put them to the right uh, tire pressure, but I'll go ahead and obviously check that because I don't trust anybody. Um, but other than that, I think this actually looks uh, pretty good. I'm pretty satisfied with that. All right, guys. Actually, a little uh, add-on to the end of the video. I actually decided to uh, mount the uh, tires. You know, I took my wife out uh, for a nice anniversary dinner, and it was like a 90-mile round trip. And I'm like, you know, what a perfect night just to um, try it. So, first impressions of the uh, P0 Winters um, tires. Are actually, really nice and quiet. They are quieter than the worn uh, summer tires that uh, the, it came on. Um, Rides nice. Uh, it's not floppy or, or numb feeling. You know, it's not quite as sharp as the summer tires as you would expect, but it's definitely a, a marked improvement over, you know, like a traditional, uh, you know, winter tire. Um, so I'm really liking that. Uh, obviously, too close to tell, um, too soon to tell on, you know, what hours per, per mile, you know, how efficient the tire is. Uh, you know, I'm gonna track it only have like 90 miles, so I can't really say but you know I'm gonna monitor that as time goes um, But you know overall like I said the only thing that I don't love about the kit is that it doesn't come with a center cap and um, You know, I'm, I'm kind of wary on buying just a regular black cap online because it's not really gonna mesh with the exact color of the wheel so I'm hoping Tesla has a certain cap for this color. I'm not sure, I'm gonna have to research that. But other than that, um, feels pretty good so far. I still wish they could have just shipped them to my house. Uh, I was saying I will try to get some, um, you know, nice uh, photos in the sun or video in the sun just to show a little bit more of the color and the fitment. Um, but other than that, that's about it uh, for now. Thanks guys.